Welcome to Designer Studio 6, the latest version from DesignSo, and our new start outfit, Digital Design Standard. With Designer, it's an entire CAD system that you can take with you anywhere. With Designer, you're styling. Design yourself, create yourself is what it's all about. From the home sewer to the professional design stylist. Now, let's get started with our first tutorial. Now that we have a designer account, we can go in and start digitizing our patterns. So let's take a look at the designer interface. Select OK, and let's take a look at the designer interface. As you can see, it's a full featured CAD system interface for creating your vector CAD drawings and also set control points so that you can grade your patterns to different sizes later to get the size that you need and want for your projects. So let's take a look at some of the features available in the new version 6. We have a very convenient menuing system and as you roll over each one of these buttons there's text that explains what that particular button or item does whilst developing your shapers. So let's take a look at some of the CAD drawings that we have in this interface. So we'll just drop down here and look at the DGN files. And right here we have the daisy hat brim. Let's take a look at that. And that pattern will load and it will load up to the size of the particular model that we want. And we're just setting this up for a, a, a size 18 inches. It fits conveniently on one page here. As you can see, we have the scale system. If we go up to one to two, that would be a four page layout that would allow us to create larger pattern shapers. Let's go back to the one-to-one. -one. And of course, we'll get into these in much greater detail. Now the seam tool is what allows you to set the parameters for how the seam attaches to your pattern shaper. So if you wanted, you can you have access to each one of these control points and the curve points and the in the in the control points list boxes here. And these are the control points for the arcs, and these are the control points for the your XY coordinates of each one of the individual points in the shaper. To edit this pattern, we would simply select the point that we would like to edit, and then it's just simply dragging it and moving it where you would like it, like so. And if we want to change an arc, say for example, let's just do something here, we'll change it back later. If you go ahead and you redraw the seam, you can see how the seam is attached itself to this particular polygon so that you don't have to worry about reshaping your seams after you make alterations to your polygons, which makes editing a lot faster. Plus, you can make your own different designs of your basic pattern shapers and use those for different design options. Now, let's take a look at some of the other available uh, drawings here. We've got another round brim here. And this is in case you want to make, say, a man's hat, or let's say you have a model for a man's hat. And what I've done here is I... I've changed this, I want to change this curve a little bit. I think it's just a little bit too bumpy here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the arc here and I'm just going to flatten that curve here, just to give you an idea of how you can reshape that. And then simply by saving that, you've saved that drawing into your selection. Now that we have all these different pattern pieces, what we want to do is we want to create them in a way that they get organized and that they're selectable so that in, in, the, uh, in the pattern matrix, somebody can choose when they're designing their particular options that they want for your design. Let's say we're, we're selling this design and we, we want uh, our customers to select either a male daisy hat or a female round brim here or, or vice versa. And that's how we would set it up in the style matrix here and the start out fit file. So if we go to daisy hat here, I've just loaded some patterns into these cells here. And simply by clicking on those, in your fit file, it then loads those pattern pieces up into the drawing area where then you can then change the size and regrade it and get it exactly the way you want it. Now, there's some certain tools here for allowing you to uh, inspect your patterns, to take measurements off your patterns so that you, you know that you're getting the correct size that you want for your, um, for your slopers and, and your designs. We'll go into that with greater detail, but this is just getting you familiar with the with the pattern design system that's available in Designer. So let's get started with creating our very own or digitizing our own pattern from scratch. And then you'll see how these patterns are created and how quick and easy it is for you to create your own patterns 
and get your own designs into digital format so that gives you the power to edit, reform, and create the patterns exactly the way that you want and need them for your products or your lifestyle. So that's getting started with Designer and get yourself ready to start doing some digitizing next. <laughs>